Aloha and welcome to the fifth module of the Eyes of the Reef Network online training program. Thanks for being here and for taking the time to learn more about how you can help protect Hawaii's coral reefs. You have reached the fifth module of this course, which will provide you with an overview of the ecology and impact of crown of thorns sea star blooms. If you have any questions during or after this training, please reach out to your local island coordinator for more information. Free training materials are available for you or your class, including underwater guides and training booklets. To find your nearest pickup location, please reach out to your local island coordinator. Contact information can be found at our website at eorhawaii.org. In this module, you will learn to recognize severe blooms of crown of thorn sea stars, which have fortunately been a relatively uncommon occurrence in Hawaii. Please remember that crown of thorn sea stars are a native coral reef species in Hawaii, so observing a few of them at your favorite reef site is completely normal. Because live corals are the primary food source of crown of thorn sea stars, large aggregations or blooms of this species can cause serious damage to coral reefs. The Ash of the Reef Network requests that you only report crown of thorn sea stars if you observe more than 25 individuals during a normal reef visit. Please note that crown of thorn sea stars are sometimes referred to as cots, and you may hear the term cots used throughout this training. Crown of thorn sea stars are an unusual species within the order Asteroidea and the genus Acanthaster. They have a unique morphology with up to 19 arms, which can regenerate if removed or damaged by predators. Crown of thorn sea stars eat corals by first positioning themselves on top of the desired coral colony, then extruding their stomachs to digest coral tissue in place. Digestive enzymes are used to consume the live coral tissue, leaving behind only white coral skeleton, often in the shape of the animal. A very active sea star can consume up to 65 square feet of coral each year. Crown of thorn sea stars can become quite large as adults, reaching a maximum diameter of a half meter, about 20 inches. They also reach maturity at around two to three years of age. Cots are very fertile and can produce around 14 million eggs per spawning event. However, the typical survival rate of larvae is extremely low. Only about two of these 14 million larvae survive on average. Because of this low survival rate, blooms or large aggregations of this species are often naturally avoided. Fortunately, large blooms of crown of thorn sea stars have been an uncommon occurrence in Hawaii. One of the most famous cases of a bloom spanned from 1969 to 1970 along the coral-rich southern coast of Molokai Island. During this bloom, more than 20,000 animals were reported along the shallow reef area, forming a band of animals approximately two kilometers in length. Over this two-year period, the sea stars focused their grazing activities on less common rice corals. An eradication effort was organized by the Hawaii Division of Fish and Game in 1970. After this bloom event, coral regrew quickly and fortunately, a major long-term loss in coral cover was not reported for this area. In 2005, researchers documented another crown of thorns sea star bloom along the northern coast of Oahu. Surveys indicated a density of approximately 1,000 animals per five-minute survey tow. Similar to the Molokai bloom, predation focused on rice and cauliflower corals. More recently, increasing numbers of crown of thorn sea stars were observed on Hawaii Island following a severe coral bleaching event in 2015. Numerous reports were received by the Eyes of the Reef Network documenting relatively high numbers of sea stars at certain coral-rich embayments in West Hawaii. Reported sea star predation often focused on the remaining population of small branching corals, which declined drastically in some areas following the 2015 bleaching event. Since 2015, the recovery of small branching corals 
has been slow but steady in West Hawaii. There are several possible causes of blooms or large aggregations of crownothorn sea stars. Many scientists believe that blooms are driven by increasing nutrient pollution in the water column during the planktonic life phase of the sea star. High nutrient levels can increase the planktonic food source available to larval sea stars. Typically, the vast majority of cots larvae don't survive in this planktonic phase. However, a sudden abundance of food can lead to significantly higher larval survival rates and eventual sea star blooms on nearby coral reefs. Because crown of thorn sea stars are a native species on Hawaii's reefs, the Eyes of the Reef Network requests that you only report 25 or more animals observed during an approximately 30 minute swim using our online reporting system. Observing one or two crown of thorn sea stars during a visit to your reef is completely normal. Remember that predation often occurs on rice and branching corals and can be identified as a white lesion matching the shape of the sea star. Coral tissue is usually evenly removed by the sea star down to the bare coral skeleton, sometimes with remnants of live coral tissue in hard to reach areas of the coral. Remember, please do not attempt to touch or move a crown sea star if you see one on the reef. Their spines are highly poisonous and can cause a serious and painful injury if contacted. To learn more about crown of thorn sea star blooms, please visit our website. We also recommend Hawaii Sea Creatures, a guide to Hawaii's marine invertebrates by John Hoover, available at most online and local bookstores. This concludes module five of the Eyes of the Reef online training program. Mahalo for your participation. Next, you will be required to successfully complete a short review quiz in order to move on to the next module. Okay, question one. Report a bloom of crown of thorn sea stars when you observe blank within a 30 minute swim. A is two or more individuals, B, 10 or more individuals, C, any number of individuals, or D, more than 25 individuals. If you said D, more than 25 individuals, you're correct. Question two, crown of thorn sea stars are a naturally occurring part of the Hawaiian coral reef community and are only a concern if they appear in large aggregations or as blooms. A is true and B is false. If you said A for true, you're correct. Question three, which of the following is an indication of crown of thorn sea star predation and not coral bleaching? A is a visible bare white coral skeleton with no live coral tissue present over the white colony sections. Sometimes live coral tissue is present in hard to reach areas. B, visible transparent live coral tissue and polyps on white colony sections. C, both of the above, or D, none of the above. If you said A, you're correct. Question four, the spines of a crown of thorn sea star are poisonous and can cause a painful injury if contacted. Choice A is true or B for false. If you said A for true, you're correct. How did you do on the quiz? If you missed more than a few questions, you may want to go back and review the materials in this module before moving on to module six. Mahalo for your participation in the Eyes of the Reef online training program. In the next module, you will learn more about algal blooms and marine invasive species.